Werewolf gang, we're gonna talk about a few things that uh to look out for when you get a Dodge Magnum. Be the fam, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Be the fam, that's what they call me. You know, I had my Dodge Magnum for 13, 14 years. And I just want to tell a few things. I just got it back today from the shop. I still got more work to do on it. It's right here. You know. Let's just get straight to the point. First off, as you can see, this is for base magnums. My base magnum came with these little fog light fill-ins. I lost another one. It's like the fourth one I lost. So you gotta always check on those to make sure those things don't fly off. Man, I, this is the fourth one I lost. So I gotta get another one of those because a motherfucker gone, lost it again. So make sure when you got a magnum, man, I gotta put my hood on, it's fucking freezing out here. Make sure you always check on those little fog, these little fog things, little fog covers. Hell, if you got a fog light, make sure you check on those because those things is notorious for flying off. Notorious. Also, another thing I hate about this Magnum is this peeling stuff. This little black little stuff they put right here, it starts peeling over the years. After a few years, it's just, just keep peeling. As you can see, mine is peeling right now, so I'm gonna have to end up getting that recoded. You see, bull, bull shizzing it, right? Yeah, so make sure when you got your magnet, make sure you take care of this right here. But it ain't, no, ain't really much you can do about it, to be all way honest with you, because if you have it for years, because magnums has been, these are old older cars, so you're just gonna end up having to replace this little piece right here. And this go all the way around the windows, from go from the front window to the back window. So you're just gonna have to replace that. That's just gonna be a, be a bullet that you're gonna have to bite. It is what it is. You can, as you can see, it's on this other side too. As you can see, look. So, know that you probably gonna, ain't no problem. You're gonna have to replace that bad boy eventually. So I'm gonna have to replace that too. It's probably not even expensive. It's probably like maybe $10, maybe, maybe less. I can't see it being too much, no more than 10, $15. So always know that. Make sure you pay attention to that. Make sure you see this little molding on the side of the Magnum. It's on front on the front door to the back door. You definitely gotta uh, always glue that. I gotta re-glue this. This is probably the fifth time I had to re-glue this because it always pops off. The little glue that they use, it ain't no good. It ain't shit. So I've been having to since I got this car, I've been having to always re-glue that and make sure it stay on. So I'll show you my other side. It's 10 times worse than this. I got that piece in the house. So, as you can see, see how it came off right there? Well, it didn't come off. I, it was coming off and I just took it off. And uh, I won't put it back on to the summertime because it's too cold for the glue to set. So yeah, make sure you watch that side molding because that side molding, it will definitely come off that bad boy. So you definitely gonna have to replace that. If you don't pay attention, it's gonna fly off in traffic and you ain't even gonna know till you get home and you're gonna have to spend about 20 bucks. You may not even, have, you might have to go to a junkyard and get that piece. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be hard to find that piece because see it, these cars are becoming few and few, few and few as the years go by, you see fewer and fewer of these cars. So you definitely gotta make sure to pay attention to that when you get in one of these cars because these are older cars, so. It's going it's not going to be easy to find parts for Dodge Magnums. I mean, they just it ain't that many on the road no more. It used to be a couple years back you probably see a lot of them, but now they starting to all go to the junkyards. They getting too old to maintain. So people getting rid of them. So they ain't they ain't hard to maintain. They just getting old and people not taking the time to take care of them. They don't really care about them cuz they probably got new cars, something like that, you know. New cars, they get newer cars. So this car is this car is actually same age as this car. Because my SS is the same age as this car. All right, love, love you. Yeah, so, yeah, a lot of people just, a lot of people just put them in a, let's let them go, go to the junkyard, or they gave them to their younger ch children, or they passed them on, and the younger children probably didn't take care of them, so, you know, it ended up going bad. So, you also, you got to definitely make sure you try to take care of them, because as you see, that molding on the side is gone. I'm gonna have to end up, I got it in the house, you know what I'm saying? I got the piece in the house, so I'm just gonna have to wait till the summertime and I'll put it back on and we'll go from there.
and uh it actually flew off and broke off but somebody somebody was following me and they told me my, my fiance was following me when it came off and she told me i went and picked it up it broke into two pieces one piece is a little piece another a long piece it's another it's a long story i put it in the video one of my other videos so y'all can see it also another thing that goes wrong with these magnums is these little but a bumper connects to the back part right here this part right here it always goes bad that part always goes bad and rust is out i'll show you over here where i fixed the rust at see that i had to sand that down and redo it and fix the mo the rust but it came back because i didn't do it right so obviously i missed some parts so i'm gonna end up redoing it it ain't, it, it's easy to redo it but look at that see how the rust come these cars are notorious notorious for rusting i mean notorious for rusting so yeah make sure you pay attention to that because that's definitely gonna happen to the car you ain't got to worry about it it's definitely gonna end up happening i did damn near every magnum i see went through that same shit so be looking be looking to pay for that also when you get one of these cars it's these little hydraulic lift things right here this one went bad on my magnum so i gotta get that replaced and nine times out of ten you're gonna have to get it replaced too being that these cars are so old eventually you're gonna have to replace these or just keep keep uh keep the maintenance up on them so they'll end up breaking as you can see where mine broke off right there so make sure you keep that keep the maintenance on these bad boys up to par as you can see this one is still good but i'm gonna end up replacing that one too being that why not replace both of them when you play don't replace one go ahead and replace another one also as you can see that rust right there these magnums are notor notorious for rusting right here too as well so make sure you try to keep up on when you wash your car make sure you dry it dry all of this at the bottom of that little hatch back there so you don't end up having the same problem that i got the rust i did that that's okay they came from they came from your boy t light neglecting the car you know neglecting it over the years i neglected it mistreated the car could have treated it better that's my fault so i gotta bite the bullet and get it fixed it is what it is this is definitely gonna be my fixer upper car i'm gonna fix this car up now i ain't gonna fix it up so it'll be a show car or nothing like that but i'm definitely gonna fix it up i'm definitely gonna fix it up so it'll be a nice car nice looking car nice looking daily you know what i mean i like to keep my cars looking nice as you can see bam 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 so this car is the one car that i gotta really put a little bit of work i think i gotta put about two thousand dollars into it but yeah keep, i'm gonna keep on going and make sure you don't you know this is so much plastic in these cars these magnets have so much plastic so they easy to stain look at that look at that stain look at that stain look at all these little scratches and all that little stuff right there make sure you try to take a little bit more better care than i did of the back end the back part because uh i could have took better care of this car I mean, I took good care of this car being it's 14 years old and run like a champion. I just got to clean it up, you know, take, get it detailed and stuff like that. But just know you want to keep up with that because that, that all this plastic is easily, this easily like stained as you can see. You can easily stain it. That's probably an oil stain. Who knows what that is? I got so much stuff back here that I don't look what, what is this? Set it up. Man, look how old this DVD. I mean, I got to set it off thing. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I must have been watching set it off back when I a few days ago who knows but yeah make sure you uh keep the keep up with that and another thing let me let's go inside the car let's go inside the car while we talking about that because i point out a couple more things and also it's freezing out there man i wanted to get out that goddamn cold <laughs> but yeah also yeah like i said it's a lot of plastic in here as you can see this is i don't know if this right here right this ain't plastic it's like a rubbery something like like rubber but also know that these vents right here, the vents, look, they, they end up getting, becoming uh, loose and stuff. So I just ain't got a lot around to gluing that back down. But know the vents eventually, or if you about to buy one, just check those vents and make sure that they not in bad condition. Like they're not coming up like this because people will try to make it look like it look good, make it look good and then sell you some bull, some bull crap. So. Let's make sure you do that. Also, these cars, they don't come with this type of stereo system. I end up putting this Pioneer in here. Usually, the SE don't come with nothing like that. So, the SE going to come with a regular AM, FM radio with a CD player. So, 
you probably gonna end up changing that out which this cost me I changed this out maybe 12 years ago maybe yeah, about 12 years ago so it cost me $500 back then so but this is a newer one so I end up somebody broke into my car and stole my older one and I end up getting a newer one so because somebody broke into these cars yeah no these cars are notoriously easily to break in I know y'all saying he always say notorious when I say notorious I mean notorious easy to break into these cars because uh they're just easy to break into so know if you get a magnum get you a top-notch um security system easily because they easily broke into my i got a security system on this and it still ended up getting broke into because i left it at the car dealership i know i'm kind of going off subject but i left it at the car dealership and they let somebody break into my car i know it was an inside job because they wanted my uh they wanted this my older version of this they wanted that so they broke into the car and got that and they left all type of other stuff that was in the car so that tells me it was an inside job they just they just wanted that somebody probably had a charger or a magnum and they wanted to or a challenger and they wanted that so it is what it is i ain't that no sweat off my bin offs but yeah also the mirror right here it's gonna end up you're gonna end up having to replace this one as you can see this one got a lot of little, it's got a little wear and tear on it if you look at it and see it's got wear and tear so eventually you end up having to change that mirror rear view mirror out and uh also my mechanic was in here so look see how easily i said that plastic stuff he's standing up it's gonna that's gonna come off but just know if you want to have a nice car when people get into it, they don't want to see all this good and grind. Make sure you take care of that. Keep that up to par. And, uh, yeah, keep that up to par. This right here, the little um, window thing and lock thing, I had to glue this. As you can see, I had to glue it because it ended up going inside. It ended up pushing it and it ended up popping inside. So be careful with that. Make sure you don't push too hard down on these they end up going inside so i end up gluing it as you can see it's some glue right there they end up being having to glue it so it won't pop down in there and i did that I had to glue it like twice but i don't think i'm gonna have to glue it again because i got that super duper glue but just be looking to that looking for that and uh pretty much also i replaced the front end of this magnum twice so the, the front end suspension and all that <clears throat> terrible i end up having to replace it twice so when you get that when you go to get a used magnum especially a se Make sure you check the suspension, man, because this suspension, it wasn't super expensive, but it was expensive enough. So make sure you do your due diligence in checking that front suspension because it could end up being expensive. I did change it out twice because the first person that did it did a shitty job. So the second person, that was my fiance. So the second person, I let them do it. So hopefully they didn't do a shitty job. We shall see. So. And uh, also, it's got cloth in here. As you can see, it's dirty. I, my mechanic was in here going crazy, and it's all dirty in here. So, I'm going to have to get it cleaned up in here. So, yeah, watch the uh, interior. But uh, just, just like I said, make sure you do run over the, the car with a fine-tooth comb so you can find all the defects and everything before you purchase one of these cars because they're probably going for like $2,000, $3,000, get a good one like that. So, they're fairly cheap cars because they're great cars because... Don't get it twisted. This is a great car. It lasts me this long. 14 years for a Dodge Magnum. No major problems. So I really can't complain. But uh, I just wanted to touch bases with y'all and tell y'all a few things to look for before you buy one of these bad boys. I'll be coming out with another video because there's plenty of other things I would t want you guys to look for. But I just wanted to make a quick little video. Keep y'all updated on my Magnum because like I said, this is going to be my little kit car. My little put together car. <laughs> I'm going to end up fixing this car. Making it look up to par. Believe me, by the time summer come, it should look 10 times better. So just bear with me. And um, with that being said, I'm going to leave you with something positive. Hey, like I say, always stay away from negative Ned and negative Nancy. Super negative people will bring you down. Hang around people that's going to uplift you. Like-minded people that are doing better than you. So you can strive to do something in life. And don't ever give up on your dreams. Like I said, I'm 39 years old. I'm doing YouTube. Hey, man, just, just live your dreams, man. Be happy with yourself and happy in your skin. If you ever get depressed, hit me up, man. Hit me up. You can you can message me or shit. I'm, on Instagram, my name is T-Lights World. The same thing, man. Hit me up in my DMs. I'll talk to you. Call me, whatever, man. If you're feeling down, hit me up. I'll talk to you through the DMs. I got I, I ain't got all the time in the world, but hey, if somebody depressed and about to kill themselves, hit me up, man. I got you, man, because I don't want to see you hurt yourself. But with that being said, I'm going to leave my video. I always leave my video. <laughs> It's your boy, 
T-L-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-